Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So yesterday I got this package and I already know what's inside of it so I just want to share it with you right away. Recently I got approached by the brand Viviva and they wanted to send me out these uh, watercolors in sheets. You probably already saw videos featuring them and testing them out. I honestly didn't see any reviews and any of those kind of videos. I just wanted to wait until I get them for my own and try them out myself. So well I'm already super excited to see what's inside so let's just uh, open this up right away Wow, it has my name on it. Oh my god, that looks amazing and I'm so impressed by the quality It seems like uh, it has this wooden kind of cover to protect this uh, uh, actual watercolor color sheets and well, I think there was something more in the package so Let's see. And I also got this water brush pen, which is a huge advantage if you're getting it all together. You already have the tools to work with it, so you don't need to buy anything more. So that's awesome. And now I just want to unwrap this one and see what's up with this. I don't know what is the smartest way to open it up because I really don't want to damage this but yeah i will just start from the corner i guess all right and it seems like you have all those uh squares with kind of pressed watercolors in it so um i can imagine that you just need some water to activate these uh areas with the paint and you have a lot of variety when it comes to colors from what I see so far. So that's a huge plus for now. Stick this to the main booklet. All right, I'll figure what it is later on. Mixing panel here. All right, maybe it's this one, but I really don't know. Might be this one because it's actually this kind of, uh, it has this kind of like plastic layer. So far it looks really exciting for me. I just want to uh, see what the colors are on the paper. So I'm just gonna grab my watercolor paper and we're gonna do some swatches. And I'm back with my watercolor paper and my uh, water brush pen. And uh, this is what I saw once I was filling it in with water. And well, you can see that I have pretty many stains from probably those uh, watercolors. So I hope that this will come off later on. But while well, working with any kinds of paints is usually quite messy, so I'm not gonna be too bothered. For now, I just hope it will come off later on. And then now I finally want to see how the colors looks on the paper. So uh, we're just gonna swatch all of these one by one. So as the first one, I'm gonna swatch this crimson shade. Oh my God, I got too much water. So the paint comes off this uh, panel really easily and it transfers really nice onto the paper. But the one thing that I'm already seeing is once you kind of try to take the paint from here, it leaves you with those little paper crumbs. I don't know if you are able to see it, but uh, in, in here you have those little paper thingies that oh now you can see it that will transfer onto your paper and that doesn't look that nice but uh, well it's just the first color maybe the other ones will uh, be better so here is crimson this one is supposed to be deep pink but uh, it doesn't look like that so i will just uh, clean my brush more precisely and go in once more. Yeah, it's just a deeper version of crimson, so it's not really a pink. Next we have vermilion and dusk orange, so let's try this one. Really nice bright orange and dusk orange. It's more yellowish, 
And right off the bat, I can tell that these are really pigmented. You just need two swipes of your brush onto the panel with color and you can already transfer quite much of the pigment onto your paper. Let's try chrome, or chrome yellow. Just basic, really pigmented yellow color and gold ochre. Yeah, so the names says for themselves. The only problem I notice is those kind of paper crumbs on my swatches, so I hope this will kind of disappear later on. Then next set of colors is Burnt Umber and Burnt Sienna. So these are quite similar and quite orangey shades and as far as I'm concerned Amber should be more of a brownish color and Sienna should be more of this kind of caramel color. So this seems to be a little bit not fitted for the names but uh, let's see uh, more. Then uh, we have light green. Really nice grass color. Next sap green. more uh, yellowish undertone this kind of, this looks like a lime color to me then we're moving on to viridian i don't know what this color is supposed to be i've never heard this uh, name before oh this is a really nice color it's this kind of uh, forest green with a little bit of bluish undertone I really like it but what's really interesting is on the panel on the, this color sheet it looks like a metallic red color and here it transfers as a deep green color then let's see peacock blue oh this is a beautiful shade it's this kind of really intense navy kind of color all right here we have Persian blue and violet and you can also see how beautiful these colors looks on the uh, panels. So let's see how they uh, look on the, the paper. And here is this really uh, typical blue color, which is in fact quite nice. And then probably a purple. Yeah, here we have a really intense and nice purple shade. All right, moving on. Also those kind of metallic looking shades, we have magenta and slate black. So this one I assume is gonna be pink. Yeah, pink with those uh, purple undertones. Just a really nice deep black color. And that is all. All right, one thing that I really lack at this moment is browns. There are no browns and that might be a huge problem for me because I was planning to draw a girl, of course. But since I don't have any browns and any skin colors, in fact, it will be really hard to figure out something out of these oranges. So I will need a second to figure out what do I draw and uh, I will come back to you just in a minute. And well, despite of me being not really sure if I should draw a girl since I didn't have enough colors to combine any skin color, I went ahead and drew a girl. Well, I think that this would be just the perfect way, the optimal way for me to test those paints, those watercolors out since, well, usually I draw girls and this is what I do, so that's why I wanted to test it out in that way. And well, since I don't have any good skin colors, I just decided to use uh, orange and a little bit of yellow and combine it together so that will give me this kind of really glowy, orangey, yellowish skin. So well, it's not gonna be a super realistic drawing, but I just wanted to test those watercolors out to the fullest. And also since I don't have any browns, like you already know, I also decided to color in her hair with black. So in this manner, I will also test how uh, deep the pigment is in the richest color, which is black. And this will help me out to get my opinion straight when it comes to these watercolors. So now I'm just gonna leave you to enjoy the time lapse of uh, my painting process. And I will uh, meet you in a second by the end of the video with my final thoughts and conclusions.
So this is how my quick watercolor drawing looks like. And now for the general experience with this uh, Viviva Color Sheets watercolor, I would rate it a good 8 out of 10. I think that this set is perfect for those of you that like to draw outside, that you actually spend a lot of time drawing some landscapes or you're always on the go and you like to have something on you. I think this would be perfect for that. However, the biggest disadvantage of this color set is actually the color range. Like I noticed at the beginning, we have six very similar orangey shades, which are in fact pretty much useless. I mean, two oranges would be just perfect. One more yellowish and one more just deep orange. And then instead of these four, for example, I would love to have some browns or pinks so I will be able to mix in some nice uh, skin shades. But with this, it's kind of impossible. So that's why I needed to use yellows and oranges to achieve somewhat decent skin color but still I'm not quite happy with this. Also for the blues there are two similar shades so I would also change that. So that's about the color range. If you're someone that likes this color scheme then definitely go for it. You won't be disappointed. And well that's pretty much it for the Viviva watercolor sheets uh, review. I was really excited to use it and I'm quite happy with my experience overall and I would definitely be grabbing for them uh, once in a while when I will be actually using watercolors. And well, if you're interested in actually getting these watercolors for yourself and trying them out, then make sure you check my description box because I have a minus 15% off for you. All right, and that will be all for today's video. Definitely let me know if you enjoyed it. And also let me know if you would like to see more of uh, videos featuring some watercolors. I would love to actually get into this technique a little bit more. So, well, let me know in the comments. And uh, well, thank you guys so, so much for watching watching. I really hope you had a good time with me today and I hope you're having an amazing day whatever you're doing and wherever you are. And once more thank you guys so so much for watching. I love you all and I can't wait to see you in my next videos. Bye! I'm just going with the gut. Never had a doubt. Felt like this is just a must. For me in perspective I'm the deepest in the cut. Everybody tuning in but this is just for us now.